All right, you guys probably know by now, I love Japan. Everybody love, I mean, most people love Japan. And I've been to Japan two times in 2022. And my wife Mel has been getting very, very jealous of me enjoying all of the kombini, sushi, ramen, family mart, you name it. So I think it's time I finally experienced Japan again with Mel for our one year anniversary. Let's go. We're in Japan again. Okay, so here's the plan. We're gonna spend two weeks in Japan, starting off with Tokyo for three days, then heading over to Nagano for some snowboarding, followed by a luxurious ryokan experience at Kusatsu Onsen Town, then heading over to Kanazawa for a pit stop before our final destination at the world famous Shirakawago Village. Okay, Sean, you're here. Yeah. Okay, bye. Our first breakfast in Japan. So I got myself my favorite melon bun, salmon onigiri, premium one, melon milk, green tea, matcha latte. Melon milk. Yes. Oh my God! Wow. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to Japan! <laughs> Everywhere, so nice! We are right now at Shinjuku. So happening with all the billboards, all the noise. And there's still even like the autumn ginkgo trees. It's so beautiful! Okay, we're getting hungry, it's time for lunch, but we can't settle on what to eat. So I just randomly searched on Google Maps and found something that I've been wanting to eat for a very long time. And I think I found gold. Judging by this cue. <laughs> so we just upon this restaurant on Google Maps, super random, and apparently it's a super popular restaurant. The queue was crazy long. We waited more than an hour and we are having tsuke men. Tsuke men is kind of like the opposite of ramen. Ramen you have the noodles in the soup. This one you have the noodles to dip into the broth. So I'm very looking forward to this. I've never tried Tsuke Man before. So let's go for it. So hungry. Portion is crazy. Mm. The noodle is like Q -Q. very chewy. Yeah. And the broth is so good. We dip the noodles into the broth. So this one's a bit more special. It's prawn broth. I don't know how is it going to be. Let's go for it. The noodles is it's like udon, it's very thick. The broth is surprisingly very light, very well balanced. The hint of prawn flavour, just the right amount of flavour, not too strong. And then it's like very savoury power, it's good. It got to a point where it was quite gelat mm. at the end. Yeah, I was just so feeling. The, the broth is amazing, but I think both of us agree that we kind of still prefer the normal ramen. <laughs> yeah. So if you're in Japan, you should definitely get the Pasmo or Suica card. This is like our Easy Link card or the Metro card where you just need to top up the card and then you can board, you know, the subway, the trains, buses, all in one card. You don't have to buy individual tickets like I used to do. I was so stupid. So get yourself this card from the ticket machine itself and it's going to be a lot more convenient. So we wanted to check out some cute Shiba Inus at this cafe at Harajuku but unfortunately we were a little bit too late even though we were there 45 minutes before closing time so make sure you are there early. It's finally time for me to bring Mel to my favorite sushi joint at Shibuya. 
And wow, the chef still remember me. Sh- shy, no, you don't shy. You don't shy. <laughs> The Aburi fluke and gawa here. It's like the fin of a fish. It's the most mind blowing thing ever. It's like so buttery. It just melt in your mouth. Bye. 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 <laughs> okay, time to check out a poop museum. Only in Japan will you have a museum about poop and they make it super kawaii Alright, so you're gonna have to catch the poop with your hands Let's go! Um, the Poop Museum is quite small. We are done in like about an hour, but it's still quite fun. I think it's worth checking out if it's your first time. A lot of games, a lot of photo spots. I like the catching one the most. Not too bad, not too bad. doing our pre-wedding shoot now. <laughs> Yo, we are in our kimonos. I mean, it's like 4.30 already. It's super late. We are in a rush. <laughs> We're going to take some photos. We are pre- I cannot breathe. Yeah, it's so tight. <laughs> oh, like don't, the, the advice is don't ever eat a full meal before you put on a kimono. But it's actually quite surprisingly warm. Even in like single digit degree weather. It's about maybe 6-7 degrees and it's alright. Okay, mm-hmm. let's take some photos. Let's take some good shots while we have the light. <laughs> So apparently, there's some Pasa Malam market going on at Sensuji Temple. It's a pretty weird combi. <laughs> a market at a temple, but here you go. It's super, super crowded. A lot of atmosphere. Oh, it's very soft. Mm. Oh, it's good. And I'm very happy. I mean, experiencing Japan on my own is nice, but I'm very happy to be finally experiencing Japan with, with my other half. Uh, it's nice lah, just to share the experience with someone. Very, very nice. Don't you agree? Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Oh, hiyo gozaimasu! Today we are at the one and only Tokyo Disney Sea, which is like one of the best theme parks in the world, they say. We've actually been here like eight years ago when we were like small kids. Lah. Now we are all grown ups, and uh, yeah, it's still so magical to come back here. The atmosphere is. Anyways, tip for you guys definitely book with Kluk for your entrance fees to Disney Sea because now they don't accept physical tickets anymore. So, the best way and the most fast free way to enter Tokyo Disney Sea is through Kluk. So, book your tickets through Kluk. Alright, let's explore Disney Sea. <laughs> All right, 
Alright, so we just got done with Raging Rapids. Uh, it's Rapids la bro. It's Raging Spirits. Go check. Raging Spirits. Okay, we just got done with it's a it's a mild roller coaster ride. It's quite fun. It's a good starter ride. For you to build up. Yeah, it's a warm-up ride. We then went to one of the most notable places at Disney Sea, which is this volcano situated and mysterious island. You can take a walk inside and it is really so 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 mesmerizing. It really takes you out of this world. And of course, we had to take one of the favorite rides at Disney Sea, which is Journey to the Center of the Earth. And whoa, it is a long queue. Okay, to be very honest, the start was very super immersive. But then after that, the climax where we meet the monsters, go for the first dive. And after the payoff, it was like, huh? We done already? Just one drop? We done? <laughs> so like, yeah, the, the ride felt very, very short. A bit, I mean, let's be honest here, it was a bit disappointing, especially for the thrill factor. But again, this is Disney Sea, so... This is Arabian Coast, which is the world of Aladdin, and it is just beyond fascinating. It's just so, so, so beautiful, especially during the sunset. And we also checked out Mermaid Lagoon, which is home of the Little Mermaid. And the music really just takes you away. Although I would say it's more of kiddish rides over there, so we didn't take any ride there. Okay, so we finally found the famous Toy Story Alien Green Moochie. It's at, currently at the New York Deli. Ooh, we took a while to find this, but let's have a go. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. The Moochie has strawberry filling inside. Very sweet, very fragrant. Wow, nice. Mmm. Oh. Custard and siang, uh, very fragrant. Chi <laughs> siang, <laughs> Oh my god, the custard is good. It's like very milky, very smooth. Definitely try the green mochi from Toy Story. Oji! So all in all, I would say don't expect anything crazy thrilling at Disney Sea. I think the real magic really lies in the theming. I mean, all of the worlds are just really, really immersive. But unfortunately, we didn't get to ride a lot of rides just cause a lot of the notable ones have really crazy long queues like for up to two hours. So that's a bit of a bummer. Now with that being said, I'm still very stoked to go back to Disney Sea once the park has expanded for new rides from Frozen, Peter Pan and Tangled. I think it's going to be really really cool. So stay tuned for that. I'm definitely going to do a more in-depth and detailed video about Disney Sea as a whole itself. Alright guys. We done with Tokyo. It was a fast and furious three days. How do you feel about Tokyo? Love it. But this is just the beginning. We are going for, <laughs> man, the most exciting part of the trip, I think. But anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this one. If you did, do give this video a thumbs up. It really, really helps. It feels so good to be back in Japan again and experiencing it and sharing it with the one and only Melissa Pong. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. I'll catch you in the next one. Stay tuned. Peace. Take care. <laughs> Just don't react. <laughs> Keep going. Yep. Go right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Okay. Go straight. Go straight. Go faster. 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 Just keep going. Clear already. Clear already. <laughs>